Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Wednesday, January 20th. We're continuing out of Common Prayer, a Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Our song for this morning is All Creatures of Our God and King. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Oh, praise ye, alleluia. Oh, brother, son with golden beam. O sister moon with silver gleam, O praise ye, O praise ye, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bless the Lord, O my soul, how excellent is your greatness. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 104, verses 2 through 6. You wrap yourself with light as with a cloak, and spread out the heavens like a curtain. You lay the beams of your chambers in the waters above. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds of your messengers and flames of fire your servants. You have set the earth upon its foundations so that it shall never be moved at any time. You covered it with the deep as with a mantle. The waters stood higher than the mountains. Bless the Lord, O my soul. How excellent is your greatness. Our Old Testament reading continues out of Genesis chapter 13, verses 2 through 18. Abram was by now very rich with livestock, silver, and gold. From the Negev, they traveled in stages toward Bethel, toward the place between Bethel and Ai, where they had pitched their tents before, where they had built an altar. There, Abram invoked the name of the Lord. Lot, who was with them, also had many flocks and cattle and tents. The land was not adequate to accommodate them both, for they had too many possessions between them to live together. Quarrels broke out between the herders of their livestock. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were occupying the land. Abram said to Lot, Let there be no quarrel between us, nor between your herders and mine, for we are relatives. The whole land is open before us. Let us part company. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you take the right, I'll go left. Lot looked around and saw the fertile plains which the Jordan River watered so well everywhere. This was before God had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. It was like the Garden of God and the land of Egypt as far as Zoar. So Lot chose the whole of Jordan Valley and moved off eastward, and they parted company. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, pitching their tents near Sodom. But the people of Sodom were extremely corrupt and sinful in the Lord's sight. After Lot left, the Lord said to Abram, Look around you. From where you stand, look to the north and to the south, the east and the west. All the land within your sight I give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust on the ground. If someone could count the specks of dust, only then could your descendants be numbered. Travel through the length and the width of the land, which I intend to give to you. Abram took the tents and settled near the oak groves of Mamre, near Hebron, and there Abram built an altar to God. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Ephesians now, chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the holy ones in Ephesus who are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace and peace to you from God our Creator and from our Savior Jesus Christ. Praised be the Maker of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. Before the world began, God chose us in Christ to be holy and blameless and to be full of love, God likewise predestined us through Christ to be adopted children. Such was God's pleasure and will, that everyone might praise the glory of God's grace, which was freely bestowed on us and God's beloved, Jesus Christ. 
It is in Christ and through the blood of Christ that we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor given to us with perfect wisdom and understanding. God has taken pleasure in revealing the mystery of the plan through Christ to be carried out in the fullness of time, namely to bring all things in heaven and on earth together in Christ. In Christ, we were willed an inheritance. For in the decree of God, and everything is administered according to the divine will and counsel, we were predestined to praise the glory of the Most High by being the first to hope in Christ. In Christ, you too were chosen. When you heard the good news of salvation, the word of truth, and believed in it, you were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the pledge of our inheritance, the deposit paid against the full redemption of a people who are God's own, to the praise of God's glory. From the time I first heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and your love for all the holy ones, I have never stopped thanking God for you and remembering you in my prayers. I pray that God of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the God of glory, will give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation to bring you to a rich knowledge of the Creator. I pray that God will enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see the hope this call holds for you, the promised glories that God's holy ones will inherit. Bless the Lord, O my soul. How excellent is your greatness. John Calvin, 16th century theologian and reformer, wrote, The creation is quite like a spacious and splendid house, provided and filled with the most exquisite and the most abundant furnishings. Everything in it tells us of God. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, wherever we look today, allow us to catch a glimpse of you. And whenever others look at us today, allow them to catch a glimpse of you. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.